Hey Stampers, it's Maggie from ILovePaperCrafts.com. It is Monday, April 1st. I want to show you something really I am so excited about. This is the new This and That product line from Stampin' Up. And what it is, is an art journal, a creativity journal, whatever you want it to be. And let me show this to you. I'm going to show it. I have three posts planned for this week showing you all kinds of details, giving you some instructions, some guidance, some ideas and inspiration on how to use this and that. But what I wanted to show you today is actually my journal I've created and just a few of my pages. Look at this stinking cute pocket here. And then these little pockets that you can put anywhere. So I've gone ahead and started decorating this. This is going to be my creativity journal. So if you are struggling with creativity and want to start housing your stuff all together, this is a great way to do it. And here you can see I've got what's inspired me in April. There's a sneak peek of one of the ones I'm going to show you later this week. And then here's some other. This is These are what the pages of the journal look like. And then I've also just created another pocket. Let me tell you, once I got started with this, I couldn't stop. I just absolutely love that. So if you buy the bundle, it's 40 I think it's four, just under $41 in Canada. Let me show you what comes in the bundle. So you get this super adorable washi tape, which is what I've used here on the cover. And it's just like tape, but stinking, stinking cute. I'm so excited we finally have this product. You're gonna get this awesome, fun, love, and stamp. Pencil me in, and then it's got the dates. Doesn't If you love office supplies, this is new, you're gonna be your new SBFF, Stampin' Best Friend. Then you get, this package of stickers, there's four sheets of stickers. They're super cute, I've used them all over my cover. Easy peasy, and I put easy peasy because creativity is supposed to be easy peasy. No stress, right girls? This is what your journal looks like. I've gone ahead and covered mine up with the designer series paper, but that's what it looks like. And then this really cute DSP. Let's open it up so I can show you. And DSP stands for designer series paper. I should stop using that jargon. Look at this paper, isn't it awesome? I think this might be my new favorite designer series paper. I say that all the time though, don't I? So lots and lots of options there. So you get all this between now and the end of April. Isn't that sweet? So every day this week, I'm gonna be featuring this. I'm gonna show you a couple different journal pages. Um, I'm using creativity challenges, which I'm gonna share with you. And I will continue sharing creativity challenges with you in the next few months, just to kind of keep you there. So if you wanna play along, feel free. And just to give you the very, a little hint on your very first creative challenge, find a piece of art that inspires you and put it in your crafting space. And I'll talk more about that on Wednesday. So I encourage you to check out this and that. What a great, cute name, this and that, this and that of our lives. And uh, if you're thinking this isn't really your style, what a great thing for teens, uh, university students, anyone who's not really necessarily doing crafting in a normal way, but something like that. And I really do encourage you to uh, think outside the box and think about what you might be able to do with this and that journal about. So if you have any questions about anything you've seen today in the video, definitely let me know. I'm going to come back with a video later this week showing you some very specific pages and how I put them together and some tips and tricks for working with it. And if you have any questions, you can always shoot me off an email at maggie.ilovepapercrafts.com. Take care, guys.